Hi, this is Dr. Chris Doy from Bentonville, Arkansas. Here I'm going to demonstrate the use of the 2.8 millimeter Parkus knotless anchors for labor repair in the hip. So this patient has a pincer lesion. I'm elevating the capsule. I'm dissecting carefully, preserving as much tissue for my capsule closure later. And then I'm going to liberate the labrum up off of the pincer lesion with this as well. Once we've got our lesion exposed, we'll go ahead and take down the pincer lesion with a high-speed burr. We have almost complete detachment of the chondral labral junction and more anteriorly we have complete detachment. So once we've got our pincer lesion resected, we'll place our sockets for our anchors. In this case, it looks like we'll need at least two anchors. You can see our labrum there. So we pass the sutures around, leaving us enough tail such that when we impact the anchors into their sockets, we don't over tension the labrum up and off of the face of the acetabulum, but rather we leave it where it needs to be so that it can perform a good suction seal for us. So I like our position. We'll go and impact our anchor. And you'll note that the tails aren't exactly symmetric, but as we impact it, you'll see that the suture's advancing and it's basically evening itself out. So we've got our anchor to depth. And we pass our second suture and pass our second anchor. I drill these freehanded without the aid of cannulas because I find sometimes the cannulas bind me up too much and this gives me a much greater degree of freedom to place my anchors. So now that I've got the sutures down, we'll take the hip out of traction and assess the suction seal. If we don't see a good suction seal, then we would consider placing additional anchors. So we're in traction, then we're pulling back out of traction. And we see a nice suction seal there of the labrum.